Welcome to our 16th video in HTML and CSS. In this video, we are going to actually start building our website. We now know enough HTML tags and CSS to start putting our web pages together. Even though we only have one page, right? One web page right now, which is our index.html page. At this end, at the end of the video, we'll have three or four. So the first thing I want to do to this web page is I want to add a background to our index.html homepage. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can just add a background color like this. We'll go into our body tag. Where's my mouse? There it is. And to add it to your body tag, to add a background color, we will just add the color of blue. So it's BG color and with blue, green, doesn't matter. We're just doing an example. We're going to close it out. We're going to control save it. Open it up in your browser. And there it is. Green. Now this looks kind of old school. This looks like a website you see maybe like 5, 10, or 15 years ago. So there's another way to add a background and we're going to add a background image which was it's more of a contemporary way. It looks a lot better. So first things first. So I'm going to get rid of this. Just close it out after body. Save it again. Reload it down here. Okay, we're good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Google for an image. And I already had, let me open up Google. Where's my Google? I'll pull it from over here. And I'm just going to type in, I'm in, um, I'm in Chrome. Why isn't this working? Come on, Google. Stay with me. I'm going to pause this video. Finally got Google Chrome to cooperate. So I'm just going to type in turquoise. Background image. And I already had typed it in. Okay, so here we are in Google Images. I'll just click on images to bring it to full screen. And I want to have a, a background image that's at least 1200 pixels by 1000 pixels. 1200 in width and 1000 by height. So this is not going to work because this is only 371 by 315. So let's try this one. Okay, perfect. This is 1280 by 1007. So we'll go to more sizes. This is the one that we want, the biggest one. I'm going to click on this, and I'm just going to drag this to my desktop. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to pull it right over here to the top right of my desktop. Okay, now I'm going to rename it. So click on it once, and I'm going to type, uh, I'll just type background dot JPEG. Perfect. Background dot JPEG. Okay, now we can close out of Google. Okay, so what we need to do now is we're going to go to our, our style.css page that we're sourcing in right here, and we're going to add our background image to our body tag, because remember, this is our CSS selector that does not have a hashtag or a period, which means it refers to, to the whole page. So that's what we want. So I'm going to indent over here, and I'm going to add our background image, URL, no spaces, and URL lets us know that we need to source it from our directory. And we titled it, what did we title We titled it just background image. You can put it in quotes or you don't have to put it in quotes. It's up to you. And uh, yeah. Oh, actually, we haven't even put our, our folder in our file yet. So here's our Village Park root folder. I'm going to go ahead and pull our picture in right now. And now this should work. So I'm going to save our CSS file. Open it up in a browser. And that didn't work. Let me pause this and see why it didn't because we didn't title this background.jpg. It's got to be perfect. Control save. I'm going to reload it again in my browser. There it is. Perfect. Okay, see this looks much better than that green background that we had before. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. See, look at this. This is perfect. And this will look good on a 13, 15, or even 17 inch browser. So there's a couple more things I want to do with this uh, with our background image and our CSS right here. So we already have it, we already pulled it in from our directory. Now there's another thing I want to do, which is called background repeat. So I'm going to type in background repeat. Background repeat. You know, sometimes you see websites and they just have like those little tiles of the same images that go in the background. Well, I don't want that because this image is already big enough to cover the whole browser. So I'm going to type in no repeat. And I'm going to close it out. And I'm going to do one more. I need one more rule. I'm going to type in um, background.attachment. And I want this to be fixed. I want our background to be fixed. I don't want it to fix as opposed to scroll. Well, the background is going to move when I scroll up and down. I don't want that. I want the background to stay in one spot. 
so fixed. I know you guys probably think I'm just making this stuff up on the fly, like background image and background repeat, because that's what I thought when I was first learning CSS. I thought like, dude, this guy's just making this up. He's just typing in anything he wants, but that's not the case. These are actually, this is CSS that's been compiled, and these are the attributes we need to stick by. So you're not going to learn all of them. Obviously, some are more important than others, but I'll go through them as I go. So if you guys have any questions about them, just hit me a comment or something. I'll be sure to get back to you. So for the background, this is all I want. This looks good, and I'm going to save it again. Even though nothing's going to change, it's still going to look the same. I We now know that our background is not going to scroll, and it's not going to, when you get to the right, it's not going to repeat. So that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.